When we're reading an algebra problem, here's a list of words that can help us translate that problem into mathematical expressions. First, let's look at the operation of addition. Addition has a number of words associated with it. First, we have plus. Then there's also added to, the sum of, increased by, then we also have more than, gain, and the total of. If we see any of these words in our problem, that means that we need to add. Now let's look at subtraction. Here's a list of words that when we read them, mean subtraction. First, we have minus. Then, we have the difference of, subtracted from, then we also have decreased by, loss, and less than. If we see any of these words, it means that we're supposed to subtract. Next, let's look at some words that indicate multiplication or division. First, let's look at some words that mean multiplication. So, when we see these words, it means that we're supposed to multiply. First, we have times, then the product of, and finally, multiplied by. Seeing any of these words means that we need to multiply. Now, division. When we see these words, it means that we are supposed to divide. First, we have over, then the quotient of, then we also have the ratio of, the fraction of, and then of course, good old divided by. Seeing any of these words means that we're supposed to divide. Now we have some words that indicate addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But we're not done yet. We still need to look at some words that indicate an inequality. Now there are four types of inequalities. So, let's look at each one separately. First, let's look at the inequality greater than. The inequality greater than has this symbol, a right pointing arrow without the line. Here's some words that indicate greater than. We have the term greater than. That means greater than. We also have the term more than. Either of those words means that we have a greater than symbol. Now the opposite of greater than is less than. So let's look at that inequality. A less than symbol looks like this. A left pointing arrow without the line. Now there are some words that mean less than. Less than means less than and fewer than means less than. So, we have two inequalities greater than and less than. Now, there are two more inequalities we need to look at. The first of these is greater than or equal to. This inequality is very similar to the inequality greater than, except that in greater than or equal to, we have an equal to line underneath our greater than symbol. Now, there's a couple of phrases that mean greater than or equal to. Of course, greater than or equal to means greater than or equal to. We also have at least and no less than. Now since we have greater than or equal to, we must also have less than or equal to. So let's look at that inequality. The inequality less than or equal to is very similar to just less than. Except, of course, that we have an equal to line underneath our less than symbol. Now here's the phrases that mean less than or equal to. Less than or equal to means less than or equal to. Then we also have at most, and finally, no more than. 
now we have a bunch of words that indicate mathematical expressions. So if we get an algebra problem, we can look at these words and find our mathematical expressions.